Just the name, Food Artica, makes you think you're off on a culinary adventure the likes of which you've never taken before. Poppy Miller takes us on a trip through Food Artica and finds out it's about much more than just food. Hi, I'm Poppy Miller and we're here at Hoss Head Bar to raise money for Beaufort School Teachers in the charity with Project Connect. I'm now with Amiri Thais. Amiri, can you tell us a little bit about the event tonight and what you're hoping to do with the money raised? Well, um, as a teacher, I know how important it is to have the correct supplies you know, when you need them. Um, I've been teaching for 14 years now, so I know how very important it is, you know, again, to have all the supplies and things that you need so you can be prepared as a teacher. So I'm hoping that people will come out and we sell some artwork to raise some funds for this excellent cause. Brilliant. And is that for teachers all across the Beaufort County? Yes, I believe so. So they have um, the Charity Project Connect, and so they get um, money to different schools, again, to help um, raise funds you know, for art supplies and regular supplies as well. And is art and art music something that you've always been passionate about since a young age, or did it come later on? Yes, well, I've always been an artist pretty much all my life. Um, I graduated from the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I received my master's from there. Um, and I've also been a musician and a uh, visual performing artist all my life as well. Um, so I try to combine both of them and do something contemporary and different. Um, as you can see with my artwork, it ranges from the low country images to more contemporary style images where I'm using lots of different layers colors, designs, and also my signature drips um, that you can see in a lot of my artwork. Yeah, because it's so big and bright and unique. Is there anyone that influenced you when you were growing up, or was it more just when you were older? Um, well, Jonathan Green is a big influence. Um, he's well known in the area. Then I have more contemporary artists um, like Keith Herring and Andy Warhol. I really like how um, they use their artwork to sort of publicize and they have the design aspect uh, in their work. And they also like artists that are involved with their community. Um, I think it's very important to give back and um, get, again be involved in what's going on. Well, I know you've inspired a lot of students at USCB and I'm, I'm sure thousands more. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for the community and giving so much back. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> I'm now here with John Patrick, Hogshead owner, bar owner and chef. And John, can you tell us a little bit about how you heard about the, the Project Connect charity and how you linked up with them? Well, uh, Marion came in uh, a few times in the last uh, few months and wanted to uh, do something a little bit different and unique. Uh, for the community, and uh, we thought it would be a lot of fun to host um, and be a part of the show. And we decided to uh, let Mary kind of take over our entire restaurant here uh, for a short time and uh, uh, give back a little bit to the community in doing so. Well, you certainly are. And can you tell us a little bit about the appetizers that are on the menu for tonight? Well, um, tonight we're doing kind of a, a walking uh, dinner. So uh, there's lots of amuse bouche uh, to start, um, and then we'll do Kind of a, a past dinner in a sense, uh, three courses followed by a dessert. Well, that sounds delicious. Thank you so much for Thank the time. Thank you so much. You. Back to you in the studio.